this morning, we found out that Isis Pharmaceuticals, the high-quality biotech company with an unfortunate appellation, is finally changing its name to avoid confusion with the other Isis. After all, when you're a company that tries to save lives, you really don't want to be associated with the terrorist scourge that beheads people. The new name is Ionis Pharmaceuticals. And the stock will start trading under the symbol IONS, I-O-N-S. I think this is a case where biotech company by any other name would smell just as sweet. IONIS has pioneered what's known as antisense technology, where they develop drugs that work by targeting the RNA in your cells, which is sort of the biological equivalent of middle management. Your DNA gives the orders, but your RNA communicates these orders to the rest of the cells. So if you change the message the RNA is carrying, you can fix genetic disorders of pro of, uh, that produce all kinds of important proteins that your body needs. This platform is so powerful that Ionis now has 38 drugs in its pipeline, including a totally revolutionary anticoagulant, a phase three compound for TTR amyloidosis, and a rare and often fatal genetic disease, a phase two treatment also for spinal muscular atrophy, which is the leading cause of infantile death worldwide, a phase two formulation for high triglyceride levels, and some diabetes drugs, and an early stage cancer therapy, just to name a few. Yeah, it's got a lot cooking. In short, Ionis could be sitting on a host of blockbusters. And if you're worried that the Fed's more aggressive posture will strangle the economy, then secular growth stocks like just this one will be exactly what you should be buying. So let's take a closer look with Dr. Stanley Crook, the founder, chairman, and CEO of Ionis Pharmaceuticals, the biotech artist formerly known as ISIS, to hear more about his company's prospects. Dr. Crook, welcome back to Mad Money. Well, uh, thanks for having me, and happy holidays to you. Same to you, Stanley. Now, let me ask you, I, I found this was... I thought it was just me, but a very good analyst, Dr. Shimmer, over at Pepper Jaffray, said this morning in a piece of research, we think this, this name change will do build a new image. In our view, today's name change represents the first step for the company to revamp its positioning with investors, and we are optimistic positive sentiment will follow. Now, is that overstated? I mean, all that happens is you change the name. Well, uh, I don't know if it's overstating it, but from my perspective, uh, changing the name rids us of a distraction uh, at a time that's tremendously exciting. Uh, you know, this year we're completing enrollment on, on three phase three trials with three different blockbuster drugs in three different diseases, the SMA drug, the TTR drug, and uh, Volanosaurusin is actually finishing enrollment in the phase three trial. Uh, that's the triglyceride drug. So you look at that, and then you look at our pipeline, look at the advances we continue to make in the technology. That's what we need to talk about. And that's where the value is. And that's where we're going to bring benefit to patients. Well, I want to go into the phase threes, but we did a feature on AstraZeneca. And I think it's very exciting. This was a company that, frankly, I thought had uh, become really just uh, me too. But you, they've got five uh, cancer targets and they're developing them with you. How is that going? Yes. It's going well. We, uh, we have... Uh, had our cancer collaboration with AstraZeneca for a few years. And then this year, we added a collaboration in cardiovascular metabolic disease, which we're very excited about. Uh, they're one of our important partners, and they're great to work with. And I think the, the new AstraZeneca under Pascal Sorio is, is a very exciting and innovative new company, and we're pleased to be associated with them. Well, I, I think that when you say the new AstraZeneca, it makes me feel good, because I kind of feel that's exactly what's happening there. Uh, since we've seen you last, phase two study of, of ISIS, well, I guess uh, Ionis TTR for amyloidosis, how, how is the phase two study going? You know, it just, it actually just started, right? No, uh, so ISIS TTRX, the, the phase three study, uh, in the first indication, which is the peripheral neuropathy indication, enrollment is now finished or okay. will finish next week. And then we've reported, I think, uh, certainly positive data in terms of target reduction, uh, in the, even though it's blinded in that study. And then I think quite encouraging data in an open label study in patients with the cardiac form of the disease. And then I think what's particularly exciting is our partner GSK is beginning the first uh, uh, cardiovascular outcome study with an RNA-targeted drug in the, in the cardiovascular form of the disease. That's a big 500-patient phase three study. So these are very exciting times for our TTRX drug. Now, uh, phase three of 500 people, I mean, will, uh, is this a 2017 or 2018 drug if it goes well? 
No, uh, it's sooner than that. Uh, well, so, so the first indication, the peripheral neuropathy, uh, the, the phase three study is now finished enrollment. And so that's a 15 month study. So we'll have those data in early 2017. And we would hope that if they're positive, then we'll file right away for that indication. We spent a lot of time talking in the past about your clotting disorder drug. How is that going? Really well. Uh, the, the, as you remember, we licensed that to uh, Bayer uh, for $155 million in, up, in, in near term payments and then, you know, 20 to uh, high 20 percent royalties. And the first step was to get some experience in patients in renal dysfunction, which we are getting now. Uh, because the first indications will be in patients who can't take existing antithrombotic uh, drugs uh, right. because they're, they have renal failure or renal dysfunction. So that's uh, enrolling nicely. The collaboration is off to a great start. And shortly after that, then the very broad phase three program should begin. So uh, exciting times for factor 11. And it, right. I believe, can fundamentally change the treatment of, 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 of thromboembolic disorders. I, I'm, I'm certainly, I'm, I'm unfortunately familiar with it, and I believe it will. Well, Dr. Stanley Crook, Chairman and CEO of the new Ionis Pharmaceuticals, formerly ISIS, thank you so much for coming on Mad Money. Oh, it's great to be here. Always good to check in with the doctor. This company has a lot more cooking than most. When people come back to biotech, this will be one of the first that they come back to. Mad Money's back in the room. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.